Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. Thank you so much for joining me. A very fun mixed media project for today, playing with fabric, gesso, stencil, texture paste, triple thick. I put everything on the cover of a book, but you can, uh, artist choice. Wood, canvas, canvas board, um, paper, whatever you want to create on. In a book, doesn't matter. So that's the charm of mixed media. Shout out to Bonnie Jo for the card, the delicious card you sent. Thank you so much. Uh, also, a thank you to Roseanne for the package that she sent full of goodies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you notes will be in the mail sometime this week. <laughs> We are celebrating 28,000 subscribers to our channel, our channel, our village. We come together, we do this together. I do not do this alone, and for that I'm very grateful. So you know I like to play a little game about this uh, and have a drawing for a purge box from my studio. So there'll be a code word someplace in this video. Um, when you see it, leave a comment with that code word in it and your name will be tossed into the hat and there will be a lucky winner that will get a purge box from LMJ Studio. So it's always fun to celebrate. Thank you for all of your support. Uh, thank you for any of the donations that you sent to the PayPal. You know all of that helps. Uh, shopping on the Amazon links helps. Thank you so much and I think that's it. See you on the table. So here's your project for today. I did this on a cover of a book, quite a large book, maybe 12 by 14. Fabric, collage, bricks in the background, uh, triple thick on some areas, 3D flowers, so fun. I'm going to work on the cover of my book because I want to do something a little bit 3D. So I'm going to bring in some underpants and some Mod Podge and glue underpants on the complete cover of my book. I'm going to bring in my brick stencil. I'm going to tape it at the top and the bottom of the book so that it doesn't move. And I'm going to bring in my texture paste, texture paste, and a palette knife. You don't have to cover it all if you don't want. I'm going to remove the stencil, set that aside, and let that dry. I'm bringing in a deli sheet and fabric scraps and I'm going to glue the fabric scraps onto the deli sheet with Mod Podge. Alright, I have all of my fabric scraps glued on. You can use paper scraps too, that is just fine. I'm going to bring in Frida, make sure my fabric area is big enough for her. It is. Okay, I'm going to set this aside to dry. Bringing in the book cover that has the yummy texture paste on it. Texture paste is equal amounts of uh, Mod Podge and gesso and enough baby powder to make it consistency of like mm, pancake batter. All right, I'm going to paint this with the black gesso and let that dry. Not quite dry. We're going forward anyway. I'm flipping it over, bringing in my Frida, since that's who I am going to use today. Tape this down so she doesn't move too much. Bring in a pen and trace my Frida. I think I have everything tech traced. Remove the stencil. Bring in some scissors. 
and cut this out. For the smaller areas, I am bringing my X-Acto in and cutting them out with my X-Acto. It cuts pretty easily. Gorgeous. I'm going to cut away all the extra deli sheet, but I'm going to leave the ragged edge of the fabric. I'm not going to uh, make sure that the fabric is straight. Like this, I'll dip out. Come back in. Leave those strings because they're yummy. Bring my sanding block in and knock these bricks down. Dust that off. I'm bringing in a mustard stays on. Bring in Frida. I'm going to glue her down. I'm going to use Mod Podge to glue her onto the front of that book. And we're going to let her dry. So I'm going to cut some flowers out of the remaining fabric Mod Podge. Here are the flowers I cut out. We'll wait for everything to dry and then we'll bring the stabilo in. I'm going to bring my stabilo in and go around all the edges of Frida, all the cut out edges of Frida. Bring those back out. Bring in my white chalk. I'm going to bring the flowers in, pop a hole in the center with my crocodile. Put a brad through the center of that flower. I'm going to bring in triple thick. So I'm taking a small brush and filling in these small areas with the triple thick and then I'll take a large brush and fill in the larger areas. So the triple thick is self uh, settling, leveling. So you can put it on and it will level itself. Bring her flowers in. Tuck those down. I'm going to bring in some diluted uh, gesso. bit of pink in my water there that's okay and I am gonna go through this edge and lighten that fabric up a little bit so you can see her a little bit better 
So I have, okay, I have diluted white gesso on the fabric. I did not go over the bricks, nor did I go over her face. <laughs> She's pretty awesome. I'm going to let her dry. And there she is. Ta-da! All right, your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.